guys and happy beta day number five. Today I'm going to show you guys, I already showed you our back to school cubbies, but I'm going to show you guys how we are preparing our entryway, which is why it's echoey because I'm standing in our entryway right now. How we prepare our entryway for back to school and also a little bit of like winter and fall um, prep. So first of all, I mean we do not have a mudroom in this house. Our garage doesn't even have the space to set up a mudroom in our house. And our entryway is very tiny. It's front door, garage door, closet door, and a very tiny little space. So we don't have a whole lot of room for thing, you know, to have a lot of organization. <sighs> what I'm trying to say, we just don't have a room to make a mud room in our house. So yeah, this is what we have to deal with. I'll show you how we make it work and how to prepare it for back to school. <clears throat> how we make ours work and how we prepare ours for back to school and hopefully this will give you guys some quick tips and maybe some ideas on how to get your small entryway ready for the bus hustle and bustle of back to school mornings so let's get started okay so this is like the entryway actually to our house you can see we're surrounded by doors here so I'll tell you the first thing I did was I found this little curtain, I'm assuming it's supposed to be for a kitchen, but I found it at Goodwill and I just got a magnetic curtain rod, it magnets right to the door. Well I like this because you could have it open if you wanted to let light in and stuff, but also I like having it closed just because I feel like I have a little more privacy, people can't look right into our entryway and everything. So since we don't actually go out this door very often, we go out the garage door. So that's kind of juicy. We this is this little space is all we have for an entryway. So how we maximize the space and getting this ready for back to school is for one, we have a coat hook right here. This was free. My mother-in-law gave this to us. It has three pegs. So this is where we put like things if it's rained and stuff. We put them hanging up here so they don't drip on the carpet. Because this is all the wall space we have right here. And then this little section here. And this has some architectural, has an Aztec or Inca. My husband brought this back from Cancun, so I'm not sure. Then like I said, we have a coat closet. So I'm gonna kind of show you into our coat closet here real quick. As you can see, I have reusable shopping bags hanging on the back of this door. So they're quick and easy to grab when we come out. This is just our coat closet. The kids have their coats hanging up on here. That hoodie is about to fall off because it's not on a big enough hanger. So that's basically, you know, just the entryway. So the first thing I did to get it ready is I put this little shag rug here. It's a good place to help catch dirt and stuff when it comes in so it doesn't continually get on your carpet. The next thing is we put our, we moved, this is a little wobbly. We moved our coat rack here and yes, I did label them, which I'm gonna have to scoop this actually down a little bit more to make it a little bit better. But I label them because my kids fight over which you know hook they get to use. So Memphis has two hooks are here. Gwen's two hooks are here. And I just got little stickers from Walmart, you know, the removable wall stickers. So that's there for their, you know, coats and things. It's at their level. Actually it's a little bit and all that. So the next thing is the back to school cubbies that we, I created out of the closet made. If you didn't watch that video, I'll link it down below for you guys. But what I did was I put another letter here. And yes, I know this is pink, but they did not have boy colors at Walmart for these. And if I find them, I'll just buy boy colors and change it out. But this is an M for my son. This is where he knows where his backpack hangs. And then I put a G over here for my daughter so she knows this is where her backpack hangs. We have a spot for library books. I just have my daughter's old school book sitting here to kind of show you library books. And if we weren't movies from the library, they go in this basket. My kids each have a cubby, each have a bin to put things in. The bottom shelf is library book, or the middle shelf is lunch boxes, and the bottom shelf is going to become. Um, 
If I can get some more of these bins, I'll probably put them down there and they'll become hats and gloves storage for winter time. And then another thing is I got this $2 coat hook from Goodwill and I just hung it up. I know it's not quite level, but I hung it up here so it gives us a place to hang our coats up and just have them here when we come home. And then at night we can put them away in the coat closet for the evening. And as you can see, we don't have a lot of space. Yes, I got a slip cover for our couch. We don't have a lot of space in between the wall and our couch, so we have to keep this flow as streamlined as possible. So that's, you know, so that's kind of what we did. So here's, there's the entry where we come in and see everything is a constant flow. Kids hang their stuff up, put their stuff away. Mommy hangs her, you know, usually mommy comes in first and stuff so I'll put my coat up and then I'll take my stuff and put it on my the adult command center over here which I did a video on that and I'll link it below too so you guys can see that how we got our command center back to school ready so yeah I'm gonna um, come back here and talk hey to you guys, so that was our little how kind of what we did to prepare our entryway for back to school now we already had the closet made cube system um, which you can get them from Walmart, Target, Kmart, whatever. You can get them from anywhere. And I already had the command adhesive hooks, and I'll give you a tip if you want to try to find cheap command adhesive hooks, go to your local Goodwill. Lots of times they get them in brand new because Target clearances them out and then they don't use them, like they don't sell. I got those two silver hooks for 99 cents a piece. The stickers came from Walmart. Let me show you. Yeah, they didn't have any. It's bad the M didn't come in green. They had a blue one though. These were at 97 cents. So, so far that's three dollars that I've spent to get that thing um, up and running. And then I got the two bins from Dollar Tree. So that's five bucks so far. Seven dollars to do that whole area because we already had the cubby things. Um, now if I find, if I go back to Dollar Tree and I can find some more boy colors. I'll probably change those out and put boy colors up for Memphis on the pink M. <laughs> but that's one way if you don't have a big entryway or you can't make a mud room in your house, that is a really good way to do it is use those like peg hooks from thrift stores or use command adhesive hooks to hang your coats on, you know, get the pretty ones and hang them up. But that's just the best way to do a very small entryway when you have very limited space in your house to even put one. So yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little tour of our back. Whew. Once I get this camera going, sometimes I just can't talk, of our new entryway ready for back to school. Um, like I said, I have link the other two videos down below of how I set up the cubbies originally and also of our back to school command center that or our back our adult command center how it's set up and ready to go for school um, I think tomorrow's video I have no idea what I'm gonna do for tomorrow by day number six but I will probably have something else more school related to do so I hope you guys had a great day I hope you enjoyed this little how to how to organize your small entryway and get it back to school ready. So happy beta day number five and I'll see you later. Bye.